welcome everyone myself professor ds munde working as assistant professor in the department of processing and food engineering kekewa college of agricultural engineering and technology nasik so in this video lecture we will study about the process flow charts so these topics belong to the course dairy and food engineering having course number pap355 from semester 5th of degree program btech agricultural engineering in in one of the video lectures we covered the one dairy product that is butter how to manufacture butter so in this particular video lecture we will cover uh, the dairy products like ghee that is butter oil and yogurt and in the subsequent video lectures we will study about the remaining dairy products which are shown in this particular slide so in this video lecture we will study about how to manufacture ghee and yogurt so starting with the ghee it is also called as butter oil so conversion of butter or cream into butter oil is a convenient method for the preservation of fat in the absence of refrigerator storage so if you see the definition butter oil refers to the fat concentrate obtained mainly from the butter or cream by the removal of practically all the water and solid not fat content that is snf the terms milk fat anhydrous milk fat dry butter fat and dehydrated butter fat are used synonymously with butter oil but the raw material for their preparation is usually cream composition so the this table shows the chemical composition of butter oil so butter fat is present in the range of 99 99.5 to 99.8 percent in the butter so moisture of butter is in the range of butter oil is in the range of 0.1 to 0.3 percent acidity of the butter oil that is oleic acid is in the range of 0.2 to 0.5 percent while the peroxide value of butter oil is 0.0 to 0.1 percent food and nutritive value so butter oil is the richest source of milk fat amongst western dairy products and is also expected to be high in fat soluble vitamins like vitamin a and d so methods of manufacture of butter oil so there are various methods of uh, but butter oil manufacturing so these are categorized as direct evaporation it includes evaporation at atmospheric pressure and evaporation under vacuum the second method of manufacture of butter oil is under vacuum in the direct evaporation so the the next class or the next method of manufacture of butter oil is decantation the third one is the centrifugation followed by vacuum drying and the last one is the direct from cream by deemulsification and centrifugation so now we will study the flow diagram of manufacture of butter oil so this is the flow chart of butter oil manufacturing process so first 
unit operation in this process is the receiving of butter that is unsalted butter we have studied in detail about the butter manufacturing and in that particular lecture we have also studied about the various class of butter so we receive the unsalted butter for butter oil manufacturing so this unsalted butter is dumped in the butter melter which is a vertical jacketed stainless steel cylindrical tank fitted with an agitator so this agitator is provided with reduction gear to work on variable speeds so if this butter is very cold and hard it should be cut into small pieces before heating then steam inlet to the jacket is open and agitator run at a low speed so this is about the melting now the next is tipping in tank the tipping tank which is jacketed at the bottom is filled with clean water and heated to 77 to 79 degree celsius that is 170 to 174 degree fahrenheit by opening the steam inlet of the jacket the centrifugal oil separator is then started and when it has attained full speed the hot water from the tipping tank is run into it so when the water has completely run out the discharge valve of the butter melter is gradually opened to allow the melt to enter into the oil separator so now we are now we will talk about the oil separator as oil from the tipping tank comes into the oil separator the rate of flow of the melt is so regulated as to avoid overflow the melt is now separated into oil and serum then from this oil separator the oil flows into the float control balance tank and then and after that into the vacuum pan due to suction so here it is dehydrated at a temperature of 56 to 63 degree celsius under vacuum of 57 to 62 cm of mercury so at the end of the operation the vacuum is broken and butter oil allowed to flow by gravity into the receiving kettle for subsequent cooling now after that the butter oil goes into the packaging and storage section so packaging and storage of the butter oil takes place at a room temperature so then this packaging and storage at room temperature in which directly from cream by demulsification and centrifugal separation so this process utilizes the principle of demulsification of cream used in various continuous butter making processes cooling so cooling is uh, an important aspect butter sh oil should be cooled and crystallized under careful control so as to form a large number of fine crystals the desired result may be obtained by rapidly supercooling to 13 to 18 degree celsius and stirring the mass during post crystallization so the packaging storage and distribution when packaging butter oil care should be taken to exclude oxygen thus it is important to avoid reaeration of the product as it comes out of the vacuum dehydrator in a partially or a completely deaerated form care should also be taken to leave a minimum of air in the head space of the container or to replace the air in the head space with an inert gas so in tropical countries allowance must be made for expansion of the product in deciding upon the size of the container to use while filling the fat should run into the bottom of the container 
in a such a way as to avoid contact with with the air tin cans are satisfactory for both bulk and retail packaging wooden cask and tubs with suitable liners may be used cardboard containers wax or plastic coated can also serve the purpose so storage storage basically done at a room temperature under atmospheric conditions dehydrated butter fat develops a pre- perceptible oxidized flavor in the course of a month use of antioxidants ethyl gallate in a concentration of 0.05% increases its shelf life to 3 months alternatively packaging the product in a large in a 1 kg container under 50 cm vacuum prior to sealing ensures satisfactory storage quality so distribution this is done in the original packaging under atmospheric conditions so in this way we have studied the butter oil manufacturing process in detail uh, in which various unit operations such as receiving melting tipping in tank oil separator float control balance tank vacuum pump butter oil receiving kettle packaging and the final one storage uh, we have uh, are involved and we discuss all these operation in detail so the next dairy product is yogurt the definition of yogurt is in essence yogurts are fermented dairy products obtained from lactic acid fermentation by two species of lactic acid bacteria that is streptococcus thermophilus and lactobacillus delbrueckii subspecies bulgaricus this fermentation leads to acidification and milk coagulation without addition of a rennet as in cheese and allows an increase of the shelf life as a result of the low ph so flow diagram of manufacture of yogurt so for manufacturing manufacturing of yogurt we will require raw milk the raw milk is then clarified it means we remove the amount of impurities present in the milk with the help of this clarification unit operation then cooling of the milk is done after cooling the milk raw milk is standardized for uh, cream then after standardization homogenization is done in which the purpose is to distribute the fat con- fat content present in the raw milk uniformly into the body of the milk so after homogenization heat treatment is given to the raw milk then after heat treatment it is, it is rapidly cooled to a temperature of 42 degree celsius then then it they, this raw milk is goes for fermentation and cooling in a controlled temperature in a tanks then packaging is done then refrigerated storage is done and then tank fermented yogurts we get the next the side by side or the another process is we pack this process milk and then fermentation and cooling uh, of that milk takes place and it is then refrigerated storage and then it is packed in a, or it is also called as in cup fermented yogurt so this is the process flow chart of manufacturing of yogurt so in this way in this particular video lecture we studied about the uh, butter oil manufacturing process and yogurt manufacturing process in the next video lecture we will discuss about the another process flow chart of another dairy products thank you